I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. (laughs) Good morning from Valentine, Nebraska. Morning. We got our team all ready. Look at all these beautiful ladies I get to ride with today. Yeah, tell me about your new bike. It's a Trek XM700 and I got a Powerback 500 Bosch battery, which I had to order. Sweet. It's a sweet bike. I'm going to keep up today. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so excited. Oh, I'm feeling great. Ready to get out there and ride some cowboy trails. Yeah! Dana, it feels so good to be riding bikes with you again. Yeah, I've we, never ridden with you. I've never, You've never ridden with, with me, that's right. Mm-hmm. Dana's ridden with me to Burning Man. We're going that way, ladies and gentlemen. That way to Burning Man. That way to Burning Man and Cuba. And... Hi guys! Hello Team Cuba! And Trek got me riding with you. That's right, thank yeah. you Trek. Awesome, thank you Trek. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's have ourselves a beautiful day. <laughs> That was one of the coolest bridges I've ever been across. Really reminded me of uh, the moment in Stand By Me when the kids are running across the bridge, freaked out that they're gonna die. So Xantha has gone back to get the car. They're gonna do a little leapfrogging. We're gonna have Dana for the first leg. And I can't wait for today. I've been looking forward to this moment for a very long time. The sun is shining. And life is good out here in Nebraska. This rail trail we're on, the Cowboy Trail, goes for like 200 miles all the way to a town called Norfolk. And you know what that means. No cars, no navigation, just riding this trail through nature. And that puts a smile on my face. Underneath this grass. Oh, going oh there back. he is. He's fast. Yes. Oh, I used to have one just like this when I was a little kid. Little He's a cute little guy. Oh. Don't jump from there, it's too high. You gotta watch out for bike tires, buddy. There are a ton of little toads on this trail, and the goal is to not run them over. But it can be difficult, because they're everywhere. Who's that doggy? Hey, Zebra! Good job. Time for the switcheroo. We're trading in Dana for Xantha. <laughs> I'm here, ready to bike. <laughs> ready to bike. Dana, I have a present oh, for you. The best chocolate chip cookies on the planet. Are you gonna go slow enough so we can keep up with you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How fast does this thing go? 28 miles per hour. 28 miles per hour, no problem. Do you guys want to draft? Oh my God. We found our first dollar. Look at that baby. I've been telling Allie that one of my goals of this trip is to find like a treasure on the side of the road, like a hundred dollar bill or gold doubloons or something. And this might be it, one dollar, one crisp American dollar. It's not a hundred, but you know what? Gotta start somewhere. And, you know, you can buy a can of beans with this. This is one of my best days of my life right now. And it's just, and I mean that really, this is awesome. And I'm on this uh, e-bike, and I can like just keep up. And I highly recommend it for anybody who is thinking, I want to get back on a bike, but I'm not sure how to do it. It's awesome. In fact, if I go in turbo, I can just leave you guys. And now for a quick moment on electric bicycles. I love electric bikes. I'm just going to say that right now. A lot of people think, oh, it's cheating. Oh, you're not really riding a bike, you're on a motorcycle. You know what I say? If it gets people out riding bikes on two wheels, moving their bodies, breathing fresh air, they're a good thing. They're a great thing. They're getting people on bikes who normally wouldn't be comfortable riding a bike. Or whatever the reason is, electric bikes 
are opening the doors for more people to ride, and that's awesome. Xantha, for example, is not really a cyclist, and she's never been, yeah, but Dana is, and they've never really been able to share that sport because Dana is a very strong cyclist and Xantha just can't keep up, but now Xantha can, and that electric bike is allowing Xantha to join us on this tour, whereas if she were riding a regular bike, it would have been a lot harder for her. So three cheers for electric bikes. You did 10 miles, high five. No, that was really fun. I how's enjoyed your, it. How's your booty? Um, my booty's sore. <laughs> <laughs> your booty is After sore. 10 miles, but I'm breaking it in. It has been so much fun and such a blessing to have Dana and Santa here. It's such a special thing to share this experience with, with your friends, with people who you care about. So it, yeah, it's really, really wonderful to have them here. And this is the perfect place to be enjoying uh, the trip with them because this trail is straight, it's flat, it's companionable, there's no traffic noise. So we can just ride next to each other and chat. And we've got a support vehicle that has LaCroix and gluten-free chocolate chip cookies in it. So yeah, it's kind of like a little slice of heaven here. We're having an amazing day and just really living it up out here. I also think it's very nice for Allie to be able to talk to somebody else besides me. She's been stuck with me for a long time <laughs> and now she gets to talk to somebody else. hands on the love cycle train the love cycle train bye Dana okay that way's New York pretty Jeez. favorite part of the day? I think it was the very beginning of the day that we all came together and there was that awesome bridge and it sort of set the intention for the day that we were on the cowboy trail and we're just gonna like ride this awesome trail together and it was so fun to have Xantha there that was really that was a highlight. Allie got nachos, Xantha got pizza, pizza, mm -hmm. pizza. We are hungry and happy. Buen provecho. Good morning, Zebra. Good morning. Well, I like your shirt. I know. I've been telling Ryan I own two biking shirts. One and two. <laughs> No flatties, no whammies, no crashies. It is a surprisingly cool morning. Yesterday was about 90, it was pretty hot. We were in the humid zones, but today feels great. And I think that's mostly because we have a pretty strong tailwind. Hopefully that sticks with us for most of the day. Our goal is to go another 65-ish miles. Another beautiful day in Nebraska. Boom. Zebby, go, go, Zebby, go. So it is about that Morning. time. We've known each other for over 10 years now. Have I look we? up, yeah, yeah, I look up to you in so many different ways. 
and your relationship is like a model relationship. When I think of like what I want to be when I grow up, it's your relationships. One of the most important things to me is family. I mean, you know, Ryan, how close I was to my brother and, you know, he got really sick really fast. And I learned so much about Xantha, like watching her, the compassion that she had, like just sitting in that room with him for hours after hours after hours. I mean, I was working and running back and forth, but it was like the fabric of who she is. And so I think that, come here. Sebi, come here. like I learned a Sebi. lot about her, like Sebi. how deeply she loves and you're gonna cry. I know because <laughs> that's how much I love you. <laughs> and we have such shared values of like love and community and um, if you can find someone that like shares those values and has that passion like I am just like just like hold on with <laughs> all your might and also when we first got together both of us were had been in previous relationships and we were a little heart wounded but we made a conscious decision. I mean, every single day, Zebby, I would here. say, till the end, uh, I choose you today. Like, I want to be here today. And we did that. And so we, we really do choose each other every day. And I think that keeps it, it makes all that other stuff fall into place. Like, you got to be kind, you got to be patient, you got to be all those things. But if you every day make a choice, like, I, I choose this person today. And so, the love comes more easily, the forgiveness comes more easily, the patience, all that stuff. We're not one, we're two very separate people, but we are together and we're in it and I never have a question about it. And having that feeling that I never have to question is such an awesome feeling, I hope you can find it. When you have confidence in the relationship, it frees you up, I think, to be more who you are also yeah. like uh, like if this sounds all like you said model relationship all like unicorn glitter and boulder woo woo stuff but we still have to work at it like we have to <laughs> everyone has like to. give we learn more and more about each other like the depth of who we are and um you know there's sometimes when Xantha just needs some time. It doesn't mean she doesn't want to be with me. It means she wants to be with her. Mm -hmm. And I'm the same way. And we and we have to like nurture that and allow for that space and let each other grow individually. And I think when you were talking about transcending, that's kind of what that is. It's like we are growing together as a couple. It's it's almost like its own entity of it is its own entity. We just get it just gets richer. Like that's the only but with our family I could and think our of. friends. Yeah, like, it's like it just a whole community growing yeah. together, and we're like yeah. in it together. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit to what it means to choose each other every day, but also know that you are fully committed and there is no choice. Sometimes the only thing you have between the two of you is the commitment, and it's hard. It's true. On, on some days it's hard, and so I still choose to stay and I'm never going, but that it's a really good question. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it's the, I want to be with this person, but I need to go do this, but I'm choosing to stay committed and in love and being with her. I think it's empowering whenever we have choice, right? Like choice is freedom. You get a freedom of choice. So for me, even if I have this commitment and I'm like, Yes, I'm committed to staying here. We're married, like we're doing this. I promised you, I gave you. We do this when we put our rings on now. I know you've got man hand from your wasp bite, so yours <laughs> isn't on. But um, we put on our rings and we say, I give you my heart, I give you my love, I give you my word. And I think it's in that importance, right? Like we've promised. Well, I treat Dana better than myself. Not all the time, but sometimes. And um, But I'm choosing to treat her that way because she's gonna choose to continue to stay with me vice versa, I think. Yes, we have the commitment, like we're gonna be here, but the empowering part is to say, not only have I given you my word and I commit, 
but I choose it. I choose I want to be here. This is where I want to grow. Yeah. Awesome. Let's bring it in for a little. Oh, yeah, a little yeah. love cycles. Love cycles. Thanks for being part of the mission. <laughs> so many kisses. After a long day of riding bikes, we all sit on the bed and watch Karate Kid 2. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Good day on the bikes. Awesome day. Awesome.